Hey everyone, I wanted to show you how uh, the Tesla determines your cruise speed uh, as you're driving around. I've uh, been noticing that sometimes it goes to uh, your the speed limit of the road plus your offset, and sometimes uh, it's a, it's uh, using your current speed. And so let me show you. Okay, so I'm on another road, and when I uh, turn on to this road I'm curious if it um, if this jumps to 43 ah it doesn't see how it tracks the speed that I'm going oops then it just jumped to 43 I can't figure out when it knows to jump to um, a certain speed limit uh, uh, your offset over the speed limit because it doesn't seem to always uh, default to that when you start driving on a new road. Um, I'll try to find the pattern. So I'm going to turn on to a road that I haven't been on at all and uh, I'm going to see how it determines this speed uh, because I can't tell whether uh, the cruise speed is purely based on your speed limit or whether it's something uh, else like that you've been on the road before and you've gone the speed limit on that road so this should be the definitive test because it sometimes does not um, jump to eight over the speed limit so here is a road coming up never driven on before with this car at least and it looks like it's a 35 mile speed limit so it's 30 to 5 so it tracks my speed and then it looks like after I get over maybe 20 miles an hour or 25 uh, it then jumped to the speed limit sign that uh, plus my offset so that's interesting. So I'm going to turn onto this road, and if I get going and I hit my cruise control, it goes to 20 uh, because I didn't get up to the other speed. Now, if I turn it off, then it jumps uh, to 43. So if you basically engage cruise control too quickly, before it uh, does the offset. And I think it does it at around 22 miles an hour. Let's see if we can uh, see that again. Okay, so we're getting on the road again, and I'm curious what speed it um, jumps to the uh, speed limit plus offset. So I'll go up slowly here. 18, 20, 21, I guess. Just after 20 miles an hour, it then uh, gives you the option to go uh, over the go to the offset. I believe 18 is the slowest you can go. So if I dial down here, yeah, you can't go below 18 as your cruise. So again, the uh, offset from the speed limit doesn't show up until you get over 20 miles an hour, 21 miles an hour. And um, if you engage it before that, uh, you're, you're not going to get the offset. You're going to get that eight, uh, 19 or 20 mile an hour speed. Now, once you are on the road, and so we'll see here, I'm going to stay on this road. And when you come to a stop, the uh, default uh, disappears because I guess it doesn't want you to uh, I don't have a car in front of me okay so once we start here let's see yeah it jumps to that uh, sooner um, probably because we're already on the road so here I'm on a road without uh, it's not picking up the speed limit and uh, it is not, it's just tracking your um, speed. So I'm on a small local road. I think the speed limit's 25. And uh, there is no uh, offset 
calculated so you'll see as I get up past uh, 20 21 22 it doesn't it has no speed limit here um, and so that uh, offset your speed limit is going to be purely uh, your cruise speed is purely going to be based upon um, the uh, current speed limit Ooh, now that is not good. I'm on a 25 <laughs> mile an hour uh, road and it has determined, it has thought that the speed limit is uh, 40. So do you see that? <clears throat> and then the offset uh, is 48. So that's pretty nasty. Although it just uh, uh, under 18, it doesn't uh, allow you to engage it. So that's really bad. This is definitely, and now I'm even going into a 15 mile an hour. Uh, let's see what happens here when we turn on to this uh, um, street. But it might not be time for, these cars are traveling pretty fast. So it's not 15 right now. So there it's 35, it picked up the speed. And that took a little longer. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's time based um, because I think I had to get up to like 25 or so there before the um, default cruise speed showed up. It could be um, time uh, after the speed limit is uh, determined. Let's see if we can do that again. Okay, so I'm turning on a road and I am gonna go fast as I get onto this road. Uh, no, it, it picked that up real quick, notice that. So uh, I'm gonna try to drive real slow and confirm that it's your speed that you get up to that engages your default uh, speed here. So we're going to turn on to a road. I'm going to stay below 21 miles an hour and see if it's ever. Oh, I went to 23. I think it's I think it's time based. I I think I really think it's like four seconds uh, that uh, it goes. It, four seconds after you turn onto a road, uh, it. Uh, defaults your cruise speed to your offset to the speed limit plus your offset so I think that was a pretty definitive test I, I drove real slow there okay so I'm on a road that's 25 miles an hour and I'm going to just start up driving and stay under 20 or I'm just gonna go up slowly and see when it uh, engaged at 14. I saw that uh, on another test. So starting on a new road, starting up on a road from a dead stop, looks like you have to go over 14 miles an hour or so before your cruise speed, or maybe even a little higher, uh, defaults. Thanks again for watching. My videos uh, for the Model 3 are here in the top right. My son's channel, The Nerd Writer, is in the top left. Check him out. He's got some really good videos. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.